M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So, so, a few people messaged me the other day. I've got the Vero N7500 saying that you could get the same device for £79 delivered, and I found that really hard to believe. It's called the RT99, it's made by Retivis. It's an identical product, so I ordered one because I thought, well, that'll be handy. I'll put that in the car and I'll show you why it's so good. So, let's, I've got myself a a cigarette lighter adapter as well. They're only like three or four pound. Obviously, if I put this in the car with an adapter, I'm only gonna use it on, on the lowest power setting um, because if you put it on the high power setting, because this is a 50 watt radio, uh, you, you're gonna blow the fuse. I've got myself already a Maggie mount here, which I've had for ages with a two meter 70 sort of mini dipole, I suppose you could call it. So let's have a look what we get for our, for our 79 pounds. It's just. It's almost too good to be true, but I know it's true because Alan has messaged me and Alan has told me he's got his and it's working perfectly. There is a setup and a learning curve to this kind of radio. The radio doesn't have a screen. You control it either by your Android or iOS phone, or you can even use, um, there is a little walkie talkie. You can, like, I'll just show you the handheld that you can buy separate. Here's the handheld. You get them in, I think, in an orange colour as well. So I can use this in the car or at home, where it will just automatically connect to whatever I want. It even gets broadcast radio. I can listen to my favourite radio station as well. So it's okay. They're at £70. But you don't need this, because your phone will actually do a much better job. So there's the little manual. Very basic manual on these. But if you go onto the Facebook group uh, by Marnock, you'll, uh, you'll see that there's loads of help there, files and they have made an instruction manual uh, that you could use as well. So yeah, interestingly, this one's got a mobile bracket. Now I can't remember if my previous one had a mobile bracket. Probably did, I just don't remember that. But I probably won't use that. I'd probably just put it underneath the car seat. So we'll show you the, it's a very good microphone on this, very high quality microphone if you ask me. It's got the Retivis badge on it, as you can see. And it's a speaker microphone. And when in use, because I've been using these for quite a while now, you basically can turn the volume up and down, change channels, ETT, e e e e you've got a memory button there. Nice PTT, very nice PTT. And uh, nothing on top. Magnetic back, so it's actually magnetic. See, little, there you go. And it's a strong magnet. So good microphone, very happy with that. You can buy a Bluetooth version of this for about 50, but in my opinion, you might as well get one of these, yeah? So there's that, very happy with that indeed. Let's go a bit closer here, look at the unit. The unit, although it's basic, it's something nice, it's quite a nice design, the main unit. Let's just take that out. So it's badged as Retivis, the one I've got in my shack, which is one of my favorite devices in the shack, is just badged as Vero, but it's the same thing, you know, it's the same thing. You've got these LEDs, you hold it down, this the power, to, to pair it and to power it on. It's SO239 connector there, a little cooling fan, which I never really hear go, but it does, I'm sure it does. And look, it's one of those twin pin type connectors. So what I'll do is, and you've got some metal plates here. I can't remember what they're for, but you've got a couple of metal plates there. And fuses, spare fuses, which I bet we're gonna need if we're doing it in the car. Uh, and there's some bolts for the mounting bracket. Good, thick, solid, good quality power cable, which I'm going to connect to those two little bits of metal. I'm going to solder them in there, and I will solder them in there, and then pull that rubber over. Th these, I'll put a link in for these, because I'm actually really pleased with how good quality these are. And it's got the little connectors, and it comes with the connector you need at the other end as well, that goes in, in these holes. So I'll put a link in for that as well. So you put those little connectors, you solder them to the end here. And I could solder straight to the, the thing. If you do the connectors, yeah, then um, you, can, you can take this off. You don't have to use the cigarette lighter. So that's it, I think I've shown you everything. So this is part one, nothing in there is there. We've got the main unit. You know, it's a solid, it's made of metal. It's, it feels like iron. You know, you're, you're gonna be very happy with this unit. I'll put, if you're lucky, you'll get it for 79 quid, but even at full price, I completely rate this, this unit. So this is the Retivis RT99, and um, we're gonna go over to the car, I'll set it all up, and then we'll do some videos, see if we can get some contacts. 
I've got my, you know, I've got my local node here. And the interesting thing is it does do APRS, broadcast radio, GPS, a lot of functionality to this. Um, and also the app that you download, which you should download anyway, because it's free, is called HT. Go to your Android and put the word in HT, yeah, uh, on, on the Play Store. Download the app, because you can actually use a lot of the functionality, including talking to your ham radio friends, without even owning this radio. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you in a bit. Bye for now.